Hi guys, Barry here. So today we're going to have a look at how to make biochar. There's a batch here on the floor that I made the other day um, and I recorded the process of what I used to make it. So um, as you can see, there's a nice amount of biochar here in the background. It probably took around three hours uh, and very little uh, input from me other than uh, me and Yvonne, Yvonne, except for adding the timber to the fire and quenching it. Um, so biochar, what is it like? It's an amazing um, amendment for the garden, you know. It's been used for thousands of years, like in South America, by South American tribes. And it really builds soil fertility and helps with nutrient retention in the soil, uh, aeration in the soil. It's uh, absolutely fantastic. What we actually have now at the moment is charcoal. So what we got to do is we got to inoculate it. It's like a little hotel, or I've heard it said online a couple of times, so I'm repeating it. It's like a hotel for bacteria. So it's really porous. There's millions of little holes in it. Like uh, one gram of biochar has the equivalent surface area of uh, about two football fields. So all the little microbes and bacteria can get in there and start multiplying and breeding. Um, and that's just beneficial for the soil, like, you know, so you're feeding the soil, you're adding to it, uh, and as a result, whatever you're growing in that soil is going to be absolutely amazing. Um, you're going to have nice, abundant soil, uh, great yields, all with the use of this. Um, so just come in there, Yvonne, give these people a quick look at what we're left with. So this is the kind of stuff that we're left with at the end. As you can see, nice, easily break apartable bits. Um, and a nice amount of it for what we put into it. So I'll go through the videos that I uh, recorded the other day making this and we'll see uh, see what you think. If you have any other ideas or opinions or ways to inoculate this, it'd be great, just put it in the comments below. Um, and we'll, we'll go over now and have a look at how it's made. Thanks. So this is the high-tech contraption that we're using to create the biochar, the height of technology. It's a, an oil barrel with a hole cut in the top, that's about it, nothing else. If it does have a working exit hole down here where you normally would get the oil out um, intact, keep that at the bottom, that'll be perfect for later on for when you're draining it, that'll be a bit clearer. from trees that we've cut down where that's going to be our main fuel we're going to burn it in the barrel in um, an oxygen deprived environment and um, keep adding wood as it builds up and um, to keep the oxygen out of the bottom the wood is going to burn without any oxygen and is going to carbonize so um, I'll get the fire started uh, this usually takes three to four hours so if you've got I'm lucky enough I've got a other few jobs to do around the garden here so I'm going to do that while this is burning and myself and Yvonne are, and maybe Sky are going to add to the fire and keep an eye on it So as you can see, we have the fire going now, but we want it to be spread out throughout the whole barrel, the base of the barrel pretty much covered to start off with. So we have pretty much small sticks on now at the moment. Um, our barrel is a little bit wet because we live in Ireland and it was outside, so we got a bit of rain out of it, so air in it, so we drained out as much as we can. Started off with the small sticks. Um, as the small sticks start to burn, there is uh, initially some smoke but um, so now we're about, I don't know, we're only about a half an hour, 40 minutes into the burn and it's not producing so much smoke. We've added some more solid timber, as you can see, fucking heat coming off is going to melt the camera. So um, it's not going too bad. Most of that smoke and stuff is a lot of uh, water. So this stuff isn't dry. I'm not using dry timber. I'm using pretty much whatever I have. So, uh, stuff that was cut down from trees. It's still green. We're just adding that in. A lot of this decking here, we're reusing it and repurposing it. It's about 10 years old. And it's been sitting in a pile uh, behind this container here for years. So it's well sold through the water. Um, so yeah, that's it. We're just going to keep adding on heavier material. And once that all burns down, we're going to put a load of light material on top. We want the flames to keep continuing on 
to the top of the fire and staying at the top of the fire so the stuff at the bottom is burning in an oxygen deficit and carbonizing. So the barrel is at maximum capacity now. It's ju just filled it up to the top. It's um, gonna burn through this stuff. Once this stuff is burning and it's right hot and flaming, then we can start thinking about adding the smaller timber uh, before we go to quenching it. So the majority of the stuff in the bottom is now well charred. Uh, you see it has a white coating around it. So we're adding loads of dry small sticks to the top to try to draw the fire up. Make sure it's burning on top and pulling all the oxygen from the end of the barrel. So this isn't far off being done there now. Uh, there's a good even burn in the barrel. Um, and whatever doesn't burn, we can just put it into our next chair, whatever's not fully uh, converted to charcoal, um, we can put into the next burn for the next barrel. So as soon as this stuff starts to burn down, we'll fill the barrel then with water. So this guy is trying to save a few sticks from the fire. He doesn't want them all to go. Whatever doesn't burn, then this time, like I can put back in again and do the next time for uh, for the charm process. So I'm gonna fill it with water here now, um, and then I left the, the plug hole. I'm gonna, as we showed there earlier, we got the plug hole in the end. Once all this is cooled down, I'll leave it overnight. Um, I'll undo the plug hole and I'll drain it off, extract the char, separate what's not burnt, and crush it up. And um, I'll do another video then of how to inoculate the biochar once and uh, because what I'm left now with is going to be charcoal uh, and if we put this directly into our soil and stuff at the moment as charcoal it's going to extract nutrients and hold them in the um, char so I want to charge it with nutrients before I put it into my soil um, so stay tuned and um, if you enjoyed this video like and share and hit the subscribe button and I'll talk to you in a while. See ya. So, so here we have it. Just filling it up to the top with water. Looks great. A lot of this nice charred material. It's going to be absolutely fantastic. Great stuff to be used in the garden. One massive barrel of homemade charcoal, soon to be biochar. What's the story, Sky? All your sticks got burnt. <laughs>